I started making comments on YouTube about 15 months ago. That was shortly after watching Loose Change 9-11 and American Coup. That's really the movie that woke me up. I was astonished by how many people were attacking me in the comments for making basic observations about the movie. Ironically, it was a New World Order shill who let me know that they were agent provocateurs, also known as trolls and NWO shills. I prefer to use the terminology NWO shills because there's an awful lot of NWO shills making clips about trolls, claiming that they are creepy individuals and not government employed propagandists. One of these New World Order shills has a name that is remarkably like MK Ultra, which is a government brainwashing program. They do make it pretty obvious who they are. He does sometimes forget to wear his sunglasses. They are low-level spies after all, and they should hide their identity for the most part. This isn't the one I've just been talking about, obviously, and I'm not implying anything by this, but good riddance, Sam F2000. I'm a law-abiding citizen, and I'm aware of slander and libel laws, so I'm going to tread very carefully during this clip. If you're a New World Order shell, and you're going to pretend to be a smoker, you should learn how to smoke first. If you are claiming to be on army disability, you shouldn't be driving or looking in perfect health. If you are in the army and you're speaking truthfully against the government, do you really think that such a person would not end up in a court-martial? No, he has to be doing the government's work. Distracting people from the truth. Everybody has an agenda and nobody does anything without a reason. However, if someone's efforts are purely to distract from the obvious truth, then they must be a New World Order shill. Having an all-seeing eye, a pyramid, or a picture of the sun, Helios, in your profile picture is a definite giveaway. It's like a non-Zionist Jew in World War II willingly wearing a swastika. They often use 666 in their channel names or numbers that add up to 666 quite easily. Sometimes they even use a name that has six letters and the other numbers that add up to six quite easily. Sometimes they have 777 in their channel name which is a Freemason reference or have Atheist in their channel name which I've covered in a previous clip. They sometimes have the Masonic chessboard in the background or Satanic symbolism or even an image of the devil or hellfire. Now some of them uh, claim to be conspiracy theorists uh, some of them actually even got on the news recently um, and, but pretend to be crazy. Um, the standard propaganda that which is on the news that all conspiracy theorists are nuts uh, but that is not the case. All conspiracy theorists are are people that have realized that mainstream media is total bullshit and they are looking for honest news and trying to report honest news. But unfortunately some of these people that give themselves ridiculous names um, still actually get through to genuine truth movement members. It saddens me how few real truth movement members there are on YouTube. This is about 90% New World Order shill. Some New World Order shills even have Freemason in their name. They often use the V for Vendetta mask the anonymous group did a false flag attack on WikiLeaks recently. To give WikiLeaks credibility and standard propaganda that the internet is bad. The only reason they want us to believe that the internet is bad is because it is precisely not a bad thing. People have an open forum um, to discuss truth. Now WikiLeaks only releases low level New World Order crimes. This is to distract away from the biggest criminals on the planet, the leaders of the New World Order. I also recommend you educate yourself on satanic hand signals. There's plenty of YouTube clips on them. Um, these New World Order shows that actually go in front of the camera often do them. One actually tried to convince me recently that he was learning sign language because I picked him up on his satanic hand signals. He even implied that his son was deaf. How low can you get? When are you New World Order shield chumps going to realise that I am your intellectual superior? 
Thanks to Gorilla199, it's no longer a secret that pagans worship the sun god Helios, who is also known as Satan, Lucifer, the light bearer. So if somebody's actually saying that they are pagan on their channel name, they are actually confessing to being a Satanist. This is a battle between good and evil, pure and simple. So pay attention to what I have said. You should always consider the source of the information. It's primary. I try now not to rise to their bait, but they are scum and they are hellbound. I am not. Thank you for watching. God bless.